Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode on the vlog. I'm Christian Dyer. If you're new here, please do me a favor. Press that subscribe button. Your support honestly means the world to me. I'm gonna try to post once a week and share with you guys a little insight into what it's like being a professional athlete here in the United States in MLR. So today, uh, it's an off day, more so like a recovery day. Um, I filmed a couple podcast episodes this morning with a world champion boxer, Olympic boxer, Michael Conlon. And then after that was this incredible girl, Jen, Jennifer Drummond, who's in pursuit of becoming the first ever woman to conquer all seven second summits, which is the second tallest mountain on each of the seven continents. And to some, they're a lot harder than the tallest mountain. So stay tuned for those. I'll drop those in the next few weeks. So I'm gonna roll it back. You'll start the video here in the morning and uh, let's crack on. There you have it. And take a look at my recovery last night. Pretty darn good. Eight and a half hours of sleep. If we go into that, sorry, let it load. We got, um, you know, over two hours of REM sleep, hour and some on change of deep sleep, a lot of light sleep. So no, I'm pretty happy with how the recovery is going lately. Um, something before, before bed that I'm doing now is I'm drinking a cup of organic tart cherry juice. And then I'm also taking this Magtech, um, like magnesium supplement that has a bunch of magnesium three and eight in it. And I'm, I don't know, my sleep's been great. I feel amazing in the morning. So yeah, who knows? So yeah, once the morning routine was done, I, I jumped in my notebook, I did my gratitude journaling, and then I did a little more prep for a podcast that I'm filming today. Um, I set some goals for the day and I, and I kind of just like planning what I have during the day, you know, why well, guess when you can know, and this just helps put a little bit of structure and consistency into my days. All right, peeps. Today's low key a big day. I got uh, two podcasts that I got to record for the chase. I got a Commonwealth champ, Olympic medalist, world champ boxer from Ireland, uh, Michael Conlon. I know him from a mutual friend, so I'm so stoked to dive into you know his journey boxing um, at the Olympics, going from amateur to professional. And now he's 18 and one as a pro boxer. So to dive into basically his chase his journey, his story, um, what's going on in his mind, and essentially how he's got to where he's got, you know, uncover all those lessons that he learns. That's that's the stuff that I love digging into because number one, I can learn something um, from my own life, how I can apply some of the habits, the behaviors, the mindset that, that he has, um, and then put that into my own life, see how far that can take me. And then the second one we're recording today is with a girl by the name of Jennifer Drummond, who is in pursuit of becoming the first woman ever in the world to hike all seven second summits, which is the second tallest mountain on each continent. Um, and so her story is absolutely incredible. Um, I mean, talk about the chase, literally chasing the second seven summits. And so um, I'm so excited to just dive into why she's doing this, how she's getting there from not being a, you know, a climber, a hiker, an alpinist, whatever you call it, you know, beforehand to now going to conquer these huge feet. So today's a big day of recording. I, I'm stoked. Like I'm, I'm juiced right now to dive into these conversations. And so this one with Michael is in about 30 minutes, got a couple hours in between. Um, I'll eat lunch, chill, start prepping for the next one. We'll, we'll dive into that one. And then later today, we're going to go hit the recovery center, hop in the sauna, uh, hop in the cryo chamber, probably the Norma Tech boots to, to, you know, get as much as I can out of this off day, recover as best as I can. Um, and then tomorrow we got tough training, Saturday cap turns, walk through and Sunday game one in, De in Dallas. So I'm going to get stuck into this. I got all my notes. Um, I'm watching some of his highlights right now. And so I'll catch you after we record. I smashed the two podcasts. I'm so excited to release them. From there, I drove off to the stadium. That's my boy Eloy, and I got a lower body massage before I drove off to iCryo, and I started the day in the sauna. Yo, so a big piece of my recovery is the infrared sauna. 
Um, I get in this thing like probably three or four times a week. Right now it's 170 degrees, 170. I'll stay in here for about 30 minutes, 35. Day of the game, I come in for about 15 to 20. But number one thing it does is it's so good for your cardiovascular system because it increases your heart rate, you get blood flow, um, it feels like a massive detox, both physically and mentally, because I come out of here feeling really mentally clear. Um, I know it has huge effects on your cardiovascular health later down in life. There's huge studies by Dr. Andrew Huberman that, that dive into that and the benefits it has on all-cause mortality and, and whatnot. Um, but it's just such a big piece of my recovery. Uh, I love it. I would do this every single day if I had it at my house. And then from here, I'll relax about 15 minutes, let my heart rate cool down, stop sweating. I'll jump in the cryo chamber um, and then I'll get in the, the red light bed just to maximize every form of recovery uh, modality that I can get my hands on. And so that's that's the big piece of my recovery. I think tonight I'll stretch a little bit, open up the hips. And that's that's recovery day for me. Um, I do my best to, to get the best out of each day off because I know tomorrow is going to be the last day before it's game time. So. I'll catch you after. Yo, yo, now we're in the red light bed. Um, got a sleep mask on because I usually cover my eyes and just relax in here, listen to a podcast, but this is so, so beneficial. It penetrates like your body at a cellular level. Pretty sure it like increases cellular function and, and vitality and energy. Um, it's a big component of my recovery. Um, it's super good for your sleep and mental clarity as well. I think sleep's definitely the biggest benefit that I've seen in my life from using this um, consistently. So you can buy red light, you can like a red light, I don't know what they're called. You can do it at home or you go somewhere, get in a bed like this. Um, if you have that ability or that opportunity, take advantage of it because it is crucial and it can impact your life, you know, tremendously. So. Last thing I do at the center is I jump in the Normatec boots for about 30 minutes and just get that lactic acid out of my legs. I then drove off to Costco and Central Market and I got um, I got some goods, got some food, got New York strips. I smashed that tonight with a side of homemade fries and zucchini. And then I did a little yoga flow that I found online, um, a little like athlete mobility recovery session just to help loosen me up a little bit before I get into the last piece of the evening routine, which you're about to see. All right, so stretching is done. Last couple things, evening routine. Blue light glasses, blue light blockers. Put them on about an hour, hour and a half before bed just so I really try to limit that blue light going on in my eyes, my brain, limit the activity. Who knows if it helps? It may be a placebo, but I think it helps. Um, I've seen my REM sleep go up a little bit, a couple percentages. Next thing I can do, I gotta shake this thing up, is a cup of tart cherry juice, just pure tart cherry juice. Uh, and it's MagTech uh, Magnesium L3 and 8. This is really good for relaxing your mind, relaxing your body for sleep. Uh, it has tryptophan in it. It also helps with melatonin production. So I'll do a cup of this. My magnesium. From there, we hit the bed, open up a book, gotta brush my teeth, of course, and then, uh, yeah, it's bedtime. So, my, my evening routine is pretty chill. There's not too many things I do. It's all about just getting myself relaxed, dimming the lights, and hopefully get myself in a position to have a killer night's sleep, because sleep is the best form of recovery. So, hope you enjoy. Honestly, guys, if you could like and subscribe to my channel, comment on the video, what else you guys wanna see, I'd appreciate it so, so much. Um, the reason I'm doing this is to hopefully inspire everybody else to chase their dream, show you guys a little bit what life is like as a, as a professional rugby player. Um, I love sharing stories, I love creating content. Your support is invaluable to me, so thank you. Thank you for watching, I'll see you all next time. We got a game this weekend, stay tuned. Houston versus New Orleans, peace.